And this guy, look, this guy right here. This guy right here, he knows what's going on with that keyboard, man. Let's hear that, let's hear that phrase again. All right, today, today, folks, we're gonna break that down for you. We're gonna show you the chords, what it is, and explain the theory behind it. Stay tuned on Sean Wilson Piano. Okay, folks, so to understand um, the power behind these chords and how these chords work, you gotta understand how two fives work. So basically, I did a video on that and I explained my thought process behind a two five. So basically, with this song, you've got a C minor chord, right? This is one destination chord. And then we walk down. So we have this F sharp minor chord. This is the second destination chord. So either we are moving to a C sharp minor or we're moving to an F sharp minor. So the phrase that he does that, um, that people are going crazy over. <laughs> that, that crazy phrase is actually just nothing more than an application of the 2-5. Okay, so the actual notes um, is a diminished major 7 voicing, and that's just going to be an E-flat chord, E-flat, G, and B-flat, but put that B-flat on the bottom, and then on the bottom of this, I want you to put an E, creating a diminished major 7, and then I want you to go from here, I want you to go up a half step. And then from here, we're going to hit this chord which is an A flat, D, F sharp, and B. This is going to be an A major, I'm sorry, a minor seven flat five. So this is the chord that he moves to. So these are passing chords. This is our, well, this is not our destination chord. This is our two. Okay, so I want you to listen to this. Okay. And then, okay, so here's our two. Remember, we are moving at this point, we're moving to F sharp. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna show something on the screen now, a chord progression card chart that will really just expand in, uh, your ability, it'll expand your ability to play passing chords and it'll expand your ability to understand and kind of have these kind of chords under your belt. Right now it's only available for members, so it's not something that you can download if you're not a member. However, you can look at it on the screen, but if you are a member, go ahead, log in. If you're not, you can check out the link in the description to see how to become one. But what I wanna do is move, see these are the major chords and I have two different ways. These are all two, five, one chord voicings. But we know that he's moving to an F sharp, right? Because I said this is um, that chord, that movement is moving to an F sharp chord, which is gonna be the same as a G flat in this chord. And what I want you to do is look at the two column. The two column, for G flat or F sharp is here, see? And this is the chord that he played. Okay, so he's moving to a two, indicating that he's about to get to this target chord here with this F sharp, right? And then he even goes to the second chord, okay, so the second chord after that. Right? In. But listen to what he hits in the bass, though. Hear that? Let's do it again. Okay. Okay, so this chord, actually there's two different chord progressions that I have for you to get to this F sharp. Uh, and so the second one, what he uses is the five here. So look at this five here. Okay, so we have the D flat, which is what he played in the bottom. And then on the top note is here, see? The D is there, the B is there, and of course, instead of an F that's in the chart, he plays an F sharp, okay? Okay, so, let me review this. Passing chord, passing chord, two of F sharp, five of F sharp, passing chord, two, He's now trying to move to get to the C sharp minor chord. See, he's got a trans, he's got a transition there. So he plays a two five, two five, passing chord to the two of C sharp minor. Okay. 
here's a five. Okay? See? And then after this F sharp, he's going. See, this is this five here. This this chord's important because this indicates that I'm about to play a C sharp minor voicing. So, all right. So it's important to transition to this somehow. So when he goes. Here's my transition chord, it gets me back to my C-sharp minor. Again, a lot of these can be explained using just kind of a 2-5 idea. And so that's why I want you to get the notes, but I also want you to understand where these are coming from and be able to use charts like these to kind of help you form your own, you know, really kind of cool little neat kind of things. Because if you're just, if I'm, if, if somebody says, well, I'm just seeing this key, this as being the key of, uh, of C-sharp, then and they're only going to use two five ones to C sharp. And you'll never get this kind of stuff here. See, <laughs> see, and he does it so smooth because you know he's he's here. He's already on his two. He's already on his two. He, it's seamless. Okay, so that's basically how to do it. Uh, let's try from the top and I'm gonna have a MIDI file for everybody this time so go ahead and grab that I want to give this out for anyone as a thank you for watching this.